You could wade into Lake Champlain, but four years ago this week, people were walking their way across the ice. That's the last time the lake connecting Vermont and New York completely froze over. But this year, experts say we are well below average on ice coverage. However, other bodies of water are neatly iced, and that's good for a Vermont tradition in the kingdom, as Kevin Geis found out. Yeah, but it doesn't take much before... Shrinks uh, down. Yeah. Joe's Pond is still covered in ice and snow. The Danville body of water is home to the famous Ice Out Challenge. That marks the unofficial end of winter. On April 1st, we need to have all the entries postmarked or in our hands. Michelle Walker says the ice on Joe's Pond has been okay so far this year, offering plenty of recreation. But a growing conversation amongst organizers. Oh, and, and we've worried this year, we worried last year about whether or not the ice would go out too soon. The earliest the block has dropped is April 5th. Walker believes the fresh blanket of snow will insulate the ice, allowing the block to last through March. I'm just hoping it stays on the ice until the 1st of April and um, that somebody wins a lot of money and has a good time. But while the ice out challenge is set and those submissions roll in in Cabot, Lake Champlain isn't even close to icing over. Another 40 degree day in Burlington has the snow here melting and the waters of Lake Champlain flowing. By and large, the ice on Lake Champlain this year has been well below normal. The National Weather Service in Burlington says the end of February into early March is when Lake Champlain has the best chance of icing over. It was four years ago this week Lake Champlain froze completely for the last time, offering satellite cameras this image. But images from only days ago show the lake isn't even close. Uh, maybe about three or four times per decade, uh, you see the, the Lake Champlain freeze over completely. The National Weather Service says this winter, measured meteorologically from December 1st to March 1st, was the third warmest on record. So even the ice in the islands and in the lower part of the lake isn't strong. But even looking at a lot of the images, you can tell it's rotten. You can see some of the cracks in the ice. But if Lake Champlain's fate isn't icy this year, other lakes could have seen more success. The Weather Service says it depends on where you are. Like at Joe's Pond, where residents have faith in the ice lasting beyond April 1st. Well, it's a wish and a prayer. Reporting at Joe's Pond, Kevin Geis, Channel 3 News.